Imagine walking into any room and being the expert that everybody wants to talk to. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today using a simple prompt and our first use of perplexity.ai pro version. Mark DeGrasse, founder of AI Branding Academy. And you'd be surprised what uh, happens when you start using, you know, quotes and statistics and industry developments in your conversations. And this is not just in your professional conversations with people that you work with, or maybe people you're trying to sell to, uh, but also with just people you know. It gives people, uh, you know, the uh, impression that you're really on top of the trends. And honestly, you're going to be on top of the trends because Perplexity does such a good job with research that you're really staying ahead of what's happening without having to, to subscribe to a million newsletters or constantly be searching for new data. Perplexity does it for you. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the prompt uh, and then we'll go ahead and run it within the, uh, let's say, residential construction industry. And you'll see just how useful the statistics and information is going to be and also how quickly you can do it. This is going to be our first use of the pro version of Perplexity. And what you'll find uh, versus what we did yesterday is the information is a little bit better and you have to prompt it less in order to get the result that you really want. All right, so here's the prompt. Uh, it's actually pretty simple, but there are some aspects that you could use this as you uh, developed in your uh, prompt engineering skills. So generate a comprehensive list of the latest developments, trends, and interesting facts in the blank industry. Uh, now you could just go with that, but again, the more information you give to your prompt, the better the information is gonna be when you get it out of uh, the prompt. <laughs> so uh, I went ahead and include this as well. So include recent breakthrough technologies, major merge, surprising statistics, emerging marketing trends, notable quotes, upcoming events, regulatory changes, unusual or counterintuitive industry insights, predictions or forecasts, and finally, fun facts or trivia related to the industry. Now, you might say like not, not all of that has to do with being a knowledgeable professional, but it does make you interesting. And when it comes to your career, the more interesting you are, the better you're going to do. I wish it was just based on achievement and merit, uh, but this is actually probably going to do better than both of these things simply because this is how decision makers uh, perceive you. So it does a lot just to include that kind of trivia and fun stuff in order to uh, talk to laymen or maybe executives that don't know so much about what you do. And now you can inform them using interesting data rather than technical details that they might not understand. Uh, now, at the end of this prompt, we also said prioritize information from the last three to six months and include a mix of technical details and easily digestible facts. Aim for a diverse range of topics that would impress both industry insights and casual observers. Again, we're not just doing this to impress your technical buddies. We want to impress everybody, including, you know, say your spouse or somebody else you're talking to. Uh, and this is going to do that. So if you're looking to get people interested in all aspects of what you do, uh, then this is a good way to do it. So let's go ahead and run the prompt and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and copy the prompt come to perplexity and I am going to use the pro account for this. So the pro account, uh, you know, allows you to do less, uh, queries. So you saw yesterday how we actually had to massage the data a little bit by asking additional questions. This doesn't usually require it. So let's go ahead and try it out. And for this, again, I'm going to say the residential, residential construction industry. And then I left everything else exactly the same. Now, note that you can just delete stuff that you're not going to be interested in. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to include everything in here. You can also add stuff. So I'll leave it up to you. So let's go ahead and see what it does. The residential construction industry is experiencing significant changes and innovations as we move into 2025. Here's a comprehensive list of the latest developments, trends, and interesting facts. Growth forecasts. Global residential construction output is projected to increase by an average of 3.4% annually through 2025. Smart home integration. Smart home technology is becoming standard in new builds and with advanced systems for safety, energy efficiency, and wellness. Let's go ahead and find some fun ones. Uh, energy transition. M&A activity related to energy transition continues to show strong volumes across various deal sizes. Now, this is a little bit more technical, so that was a bad example of that, uh, but you get the idea. International investment. There's an increase in international capital, particularly from Japan, pouring into U.S. home building. I actually really like this one because that that's an interesting fact for anybody that that Japan is spending a bunch of money uh, to build homes in the U.S. That's interesting. So you can see just with that one prompt, I have a list of 15 different statistics that make me sound interesting and on top of the trends within the industry. Now, know that AI is not limited to simply the one prompt. So let's say that this is an interesting fact. And so I'm going to say expand on the statistic in number 15. 
And here you go. So now as you find information, this is part of being an expert is you could dive deeper into it and you don't have to go search Google to do this. Just keep in perplexing and keep asking questions. So in this case, uh, it just expanded on that concept of Japan, uh, you know, pouring money into the U.S. home building market. So you have the acquisition expanded uh, Sikuse. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, U.S. home building footprint from eight to 16 states. That's huge. <laughs> so just double the states that they're actually building in with projections to deliver 20,000 detached homes annually in the U.S. by 2031. Uh, let's see. These Japanese companies are leveraging their ability to borrow yen at low interest rates with plans to make acquisitions when U.S. interest rates come down and the dollar weakens. So you can see why it's starting to happen. So th there's actually a currency exchange going on that's actually impacting the industry. So again, I don't know anything about this space, but now I know that Japan is investing in America. And if I said that offhandedly, if somebody said, hey, what's going on with your job? You could say, oh, well, you know, Japan is doubling the amount of states that they're building in this year. So they were in eight. They're going to be in 16 pretty soon. And then they could follow up. Well, why is that happening? And, oh, well, there's actually a currency issue where they're actually able to borrow against the dollar and uh, make a lot of money by doing so. So, uh, you know, and you could go as deep as you want, but just those those two things, people would say, wow, this is somebody who knows what's going on in their industry. And I'm now interested in talking to them or hiring them or whatever else you're trying to achieve with your career. All right. So there you have it, a fairly simple prompt. Uh, but if you use this on a regular basis, you're going to find that it uh, you know, really increases your status and it doesn't really take very much time. It does take some memory, does take you doing it. <laughs> but other than that, you're doing tons of research in seconds that would have taken somebody hours or days if they were using standard techniques. So tomorrow we're going to expand uh, one more time into the perplexity.ai. We're going to expand into spaces. And with spaces, you could use something like this and say, hey, I run this prompt every Monday. And so I'm going to make a space for industry data so I could just click on that and I'm going to see everything going on and I can compare it to what was going on last time I ran the prompt. But we'll get into the use of spaces. But just know that all of this stuff is connected and the more you do these uh, lessons, the more you're going to find that AI is both useful, super helpful, and super easy to use. So please tune in tomorrow.